Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Very often I get asked how can I detect the tempo in Cubase of a song or a loop. Today I show you three possibilities and a bonus tip in the media bay. So let's start with the first clip. So what's the tempo? I start with 120 BPM and I activate the click. Okay, so this doesn't work. Now let's choose the clip, go to project and say tempo detection and activate analyze. Now we got two additional tracks. We got the signature and we got the tempo. So first let's listen how it works now. Seems to be okay, but the signature is strange because now we got just one beat in a bar, but I want to have three beats and let's have a look where we should start it. Okay, now we got to choose bar three. I activate the grid, choose the pen tool and now we got this message, selecting a different tool will end the tempo detection session. Do you want to continue? Yes. And now we go to bar three and choose four beats. Okay, this sounds better for me. The next thing is the tempo because you can see at the transport bar, it changes. changes every beat and we can see it at the left side of the inspector and it changes from 147 to 152 from let's say here from 155 to 161 and uh, that's strange because we got the same tempo at the song at the same time, I didn't change anything, but uh, this always happens when I uh, use the beat detection. And uh, we got great transients, we got uh, kick and snare, so it's very easy. But you can save a lot of time when you're doing this at this way. And I show you another possibility. So let's check how good is this one working when I choose this part. I guess you feel the tempo, but we don't have um, a lot of transients and not a real beat. So let's try it. We go to project and tempo detection analyze and whoa looks like a wild journey let's activate the click okay so it's a nice try but doesn't work very well and for this and for getting a constant tempo, I show you the second possibility. Now let's go to another part of the song where I can show better to you. I go to this part. So we got the kick. And now I want to cut on the fly. For this I use the key command um, or X. So I'm cutting exactly where the song position line is. For this you got to deactivate the grid. So now it's deactivated. Okay and I want to cut two or three bars in real time.
Okay, so that's it. Now I set this one to bar 81. And very important, I set it from um, linear to musical. Okay, and now let's listen whether the loop is working. So I've chosen this one, this clip, press P, and now the locators are at the same start and end. Okay, so the start is not working very well. Let's do this one and press P again. Okay, seems to work fine. You can do the, the editings and um, listen to it here and choose this audio loop. So I've chosen to do this at the Ranger. Now, I got to set this one again to bar 81. And let's listen how many bars do we have. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Okay, so we got four bars, but we got the wrong signature. We got one, one beat. We got to have four. So we've activated the grid and insert four beats. Okay, and now we want to have four bars at the locators two. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got here four bars and here. It doesn't match. The magic comes now. We've chosen this one. Project, beat calculator. And now we got four bars, each four beats. So we got 16, or you can do it this way. 16 beats and it says 110 BPM and okay we don't know is it 110 or 111 so let's try 111 okay and we activate the click Ah, is it working? So when I don't know, is it working really well? Then I go to later part of the song and check it. No, it's not working. So let's try 110. And go to another part. Now it's working. And when I'm doing this, I'm very fast. I need less than one minute. And it's better than using this method because I got a constant tempo. And now we come to the third. Let's have a listen to this one. And now we try the beat detection. We go to project and tempo detection. Okay, so I'm very excited how it will sound now. So this doesn't work. 
Okay, so what can we do? First, deactivate uh, the, the click and remove the, uh, the whole tampon in here. And now we do this and remove everything in here. And now we deactivate the grid. It doesn't matter where I start now. And now I want to cut at every beat using Alt X again. Okay, and, and here I guess I missed a few one. So I guess this one is enough. Let's listen to it and watch where I did the cuts. Okay, so that's enough. And now let's activate time warp and the grid. And now we activate beat. And uh, not the grid, we got to choose events. Okay, now I can use every beat and move it to the next start of the event. I show it to you. Oh, I got to cut the first one here. Okay. Now we start with this bar. You, you see now it's just moving to somewhere, but now it moves to this event. Okay. Let's take the next beat. This is this one because I guess we got again the signature. Yes, just one beat per bar, so it's okay. This one, and uh, now we go to the next, next, next. Here. Okay, do it something. Yeah, that's that's okay. Now let's listen to it with a click. Yeah, so you can do it better, but this is a great possibility in Cubase to create a tempo track for a free play track or for a track that has been recorded without click or without a constant tempo. Now let's get to the bonus tip at the media bay. I've chosen this part of the song. And I want to add some loop. Okay, now I go to the media bay. And you see here, we got a few loops just with the number, but I don't see the tempo. And now let's listen to it. And here comes the first button. We got three magic buttons. The first auto play new result selection. And when I press another file, it's playing the whole time when I'm pressing it. So now the next one, a line beat to project. Now we got the tempo detection of this loop and it's been assigned to the, um, to the right tempo. Now comes the last one. Wait for project play.
Okay, so this doesn't work here. Why? So let's listen to it. You see, it's not being cutted perfectly. So let's choose another one. So this seems to be perfectly cut it. And now press play. And here we can see the tempo, but here we can't see it. Okay, so this seems to be okay. Let's double click it. I want to import it into my project. You got it here. And be careful because when you play now, we hear it twice. We hear it in here and we can hear it at the media bay. So we got to deactivate this one and you can create your own macro. Okay, so now we copy this one. And this is how Cubase detects the tempo automatically. And now it sets uh, to the right tempo because here musical mode is activated. This has been three possibilities to detect the tempo of a song or loop in Cubase plus a bonus tip at the media bay. When you like this one, please give me a thumb up. This would make me very happy. And when you get some more questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new episode. See you the next time.